last year. Uh, you have question marks in the running game. Could Tony Jones Jr. go a full year without injury? Uh, then you have questions uh, with, uh, you know, the kicking game. No Justin Yoon, no Tyler Newsom. I mean, they're talking more about going for on fourth down than they usually do, which tells me that they do not feel confident in whoever's going to be the kicker for 2019. So if they go down to a big kick, is the kicker going to be able to make a big kick for them if it comes down to that situation or not? Uh, I don't think they have the same uh, security blanket they had when Justin Yoon was there. And uh, I think right now, as far as a record, I'd say 8-4 and four is the mark I'm looking at uh, for another game. Definitely not a college football playoff team, and definitely not a team I think that's going to be in the top 10 in the final polls. Uh, uh, the top 25 uh, coaches of the AP poll at the end of the year. Well, we got to wrap it up and put a poll on it, but real quickly, I know that's right there in your backyard. Matthew Embry, WSBT up at South Bend, our official IndyCar contributor. He also talks to college football with us and uh, doing a little double hat with us as we as we kind of uh, begin to walk the waters of, of college football. Real quickly, uh, Michigan and Jim Harbaugh. <laughs> you talk about all the right teams. There you go. Real quickly, Michigan 2019, Jim Harbaugh. Uh, does he have a good season, or is it just, again, like I said, it's totally overrated? Can it be Ohio State? That's the question I keep saying, and the answer I keep saying is no. And until that changes, uh, I don't think Michigan's going to be a factor. Matthew, we appreciate you joining us. You going to stick around for some NFL talk, or you got to bail? I got to get to work. Uh, a lot of stuff going on in South Bend this week, obviously, uh, for Chicago Cup fans. Uh, ben Zobra is still on his rehab assignment here in South Bend tonight. There's a limited number of tickets available, so if you want to go see uh, Ben Zobra in the South Bend Cubs uniform, get to the 4 Winds box office in downtown South Bend now. There's just a few tickets left for today's game, and there's some tickets left for Sunday. So if you want to see one of the top players uh, in Major League Baseball on rehab assignment, uh, he will be down there the next two days. And I'll finish this with this. My St. Louis Cardinals are number one. Have a good weekend, sir. <laughs> we'll talk with you soon, Matt. Uh, we'll see about that later, uh, Tom. Talk to you later. <laughs> bye bye. Matthew Emery, WSBT up in South Bend, our official IndyCar contributor. We're going to jump into a break. We'll be right back here with Matt Hicks. Uh, we're going to be playing the Homer car, the Indianapolis Colts camp what's going on with andrew luck i'm so nervous i wish you could see my kermit the frog nervous meme right now we're out The Air National Guard is a reserve component of the United States Air Force and serves alongside active duty Air Force members in times of a national crisis. In addition, the Air Guard serves the state and local community in a wide range of capacities. The reason people join the Air Guard is as diverse as our members and includes such reasons as a deep desire to serve their country, money for college, travel, new job skills, and the pride that goes along with belonging to the greatest military organization in the world. I joined because I felt a calling to serve my country, but I didn't want to be far away from my family. So the Indiana Air National Guard was a perfect fit for me. With over 95 different career opportunities to choose from and 100% paid college tuition to any state-funded college, why not give us a call? Call 1-800-841-3103 or visit online at goang.com to find out more. Again, that's 1-800-841-3103. The Air National Guard, guarding America, defending freedom. It's double trouble, double the fun. At African Safari Wildlife Park in Port Clinton, Ohio, see the largest antelope on Earth, the giant eland, and the ugliest creature on Earth, the African warthog. There's so much to see and do, including the Midwest's only drive through safari. Feed the animals. See live educational shows. Feel the excitement. Have your picture taken with a python or cockatoo. Feel the adventure. 
Shop the Simba Lodge gift shop with items available from around the globe. Visit the snack bar or picnic facilities. Enjoy a pony or camel ride. Or cheer your favorite porker on to victory in the famous Pork Chop Down. Bring your family to see the rare and exotic animals at African Safari Wildlife Park in Portland, Ohio. Just take Route 2 to the Route 53 North exit and follow the sign. Only 17 miles west of Cedar Point via Route 6. Open every day, rain or shine. All right, welcome back to The Balance. My name is Tom Mark Marcosel, Presidente, rolling along on a Saturday morning on a nice, hot, sunny summer day. Uh, joining us now is uh, one of our, our favorite guests, Mr. Matt Hicks. How are you, sir? I'm great. How are you, Tom? You know what? Never better. Sun's shining. Going to go to the zoo after the show. I've never seen the orangutan uh, uh, exhibit, so hopefully... They don't mistake me and think that I've escaped and, and throw me in there with them. But <laughs> <laughs> the zoo is always a great time on a Saturday. I know, and, and and you would probably know this because you still have little youngins running around, and yeah. and you guys are always active. So are are you one of the zoo members, if you will? Uh, not. We have been. We are not currently. Uh, two of my three are now in school, so we don't have as much time to do those things as we used to. So, yeah, we, 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 we were, oh, gosh, for many years, members of the zoo and, and the Children's Museum, which, you know, if you're not familiar with Children's Museum in Indianapolis, it's like Top literally notch. one of the premier children's mu- museums in the country. You know, I oftentimes say, hey, can I borrow your kids so I can go to the museum? That is really an awesome museum. <laughs> yeah. it, it really is. It, and I haven't been in the zoo in, in so long, but just thought, well, let's just go this, this weekend. Uh, unfortunately, my granddaughter lives in North Carolina, so she doesn't get to go as much. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it, it's it, well, two adults going to the zoo, but it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, got, the, got the extra adventure that we can take the rides, but – I'm thinking, I don't know, remember, remember a few years back when they had a, they kept having to rescue people with the fire department out on that, on the sky <laughs> ride there at the zoo? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I digress. <laughs> I digress. Matt Hicks, our official uh, zoo contributor. No, uh, but uh, thanks for joining us. We're, we're jumping right into the NFL t- talk here. Let's, yeah. let's just, let's just, let's just talk. Let's just tackle the elephant head on. I think we're all a little bit jaded with Andrew Luck. I'm not, I'm not in panic mode yet. If he's not throwing, no. if he's not throwing balls in September, I'm going to be in panic mode, but there's, I, I, I'm concerned and justifiably so. And I think all fans are, as, as we look at camp has broken Andrew Luck. We, we, we still want to say that he's in the danger zone. I don't know, but we, we feel like, Maybe he's not there. There's maybe there's a there there, no pun intended, that they're not talking about. Talk with us about what are your thoughts about Andrew Luck? Should we get nervous? Is it, should we push the panic button because we haven't really seen him do anything in camp? Yeah. Well, I, I think concerned is fair. Um, I, I kind of look at it at different benchmarks. Yes, right now I'm concerned. If he doesn't go through some sort of practices heading into that third preseason game and play in that third preseason game, which is, you know, supposedly the pretend that's the mock game where they prepare for the week and make adjustments at halftime and all that nonsense. If he doesn't play in that game, I will wait, I will raise my level of concern to maybe perhaps mild fear. And then we'll go from there. If they bring in another quarterback in the next week or two, then yes, I would also view that as a bad sign. And then obviously when you get to week one, if he's anything worse than questionable, then yeah, it was obviously more serious than what they were leading on. And, you know, this team has to be careful with this sort of thing. And I think, I like to think that they are. Um, 
they've had some issues with trust with the fans in the past uh, with Peyton Manning mm-hmm. and his injury. If you remember mm-hmm. back to that, there were people mm-hmm. saying, well, he might be able to play in week 10. Well, that never happened. And maybe they were, and maybe they were being transparent and the optimism was there and it just didn't come to fruition. I like to think with the luck injury, it has been above board as much as an NFL team is. I mean, obviously they're not going to come out and read medical charts to you every week, but I, I like to believe the best in the Colts and, and their transparency with injuries. Um, but listen, the reality of it is, is you're, your best chance to contend for a playoff spot is not practicing right now. And yeah, that, that should cause concern. I don't know if it's time to panic. I would be panicked if they brought in a, another quarterback, even if it was, you know, I mean, they haven't even brought in a a, a practice quarter. I mean, they, you know, they, a a, a Philip Walker type of guy who I realize is in camp, but I'm just saying they have not brought in even another guy. They've got a couple guys in, um, but they have no more quarterbacks than they would normally have in camp. So I, that's where I kind of come back to, okay, it's, it's going to be fine. And, and Brissett's getting reps with the starters, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, go, going back to when Peyton Manning was here, which I realized was a very different era in football in general, but one of the big concerns when Manning was here is the backup never got reps with the first team because Manning wanted to take every snap at practice. Mm-hmm. Well, that doesn't seem to be an issue at this point. Now, whether that's due to injury or just rest or whatever, Brissett is very familiar with this offense, and he's not a bad quarterback. Now, I'm not here to say that they can win this division with Brissett starting 16 games. They can't. They won't. But could he get them through? the first four weeks at two and two, I, I think that's possible. And if, if, if luck were to miss some time, which I just don't think he's going to, I, I just think this is what it is. They're letting it rest and they're going to fire it back up here. Probably, as I said, probably week three of the preseason, let him go through all that. And then he'll take the fourth week off and come back for the regular season. That's just my hunch. I have no inside knowledge at all. Because um, no one, no. Oh, come I, on, we know you hang out there at West Fifty Sixth Street. We know, we know you got your, we know you got the scoop. I do, I do. T- I have talked to some people that have been up in camp, at, not just in the stands, but on the sidelines, and I've, yeah. I've talked to a few people, and, and they se- seem to think that that's a, a plausible possibility, but they've not heard anything to say that that's what's going on. I think the idea is, as soon as he's ready to come back, he's going to come back, but I don't know. I don't know that they wouldn't push it a little bit in that week three of the preseason just to give him a, a shot of, you know, as I said, that mock game uh, getting out there and playing a half or maybe even a quarter just to just to see how everything's working. Well, I'm sure we're not going to see him Thursday night against the Bills. And uh, but 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 no. you know, as we talk no. as we talk every year in the preseason. This is an opportunity for uh, the non-starters, those that are trying to make the team, those that are trying to make the right. Even if they don't make it for the Indianapolis Colts, they're getting on tape for other teams. They're trying to make it for other teams, even if it's just on a practice squad. So the preseason may not mean anything to fans, maybe fans. just We want to get to the real action. But, you know, and you follow racing like I do. In every race, you got the caution. The pace car comes out. In every race at the beginning of the race, you have five or six laps that are just going at a small speed. Nobody's doing anything exciting. It's led by the pace car. Nobody gets worked up about it. Oh, these are just pace laps. They don't mean anything. Blah, 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 blah. But there's a reason that there's a reason they get the cars warmed up. So there's a reason for the preseason they get they get things warmed up. When you look at the Indianapolis Colts bubble if you will Uh, is there anybody that stands out that you think man it'd be nice if we could get him on there or yeah let's let's uh let's uh, let this guy mosey on down the road anything anybody stick out to you this year going into camp um well yeah i mean i'm not to be honest familiar with everybody else around the league and and who could potentially get cut i think for the most part that's mostly happening but as far as the Colts are concerned, I think there's a name that, you know, you just haven't heard much of. 
in the last two weeks since camp started, and that's Chester Rogers. I, I have to wonder if this guy is going to make the team. He had a very up-and-down year last year, and that wide receiver core is really good. 